defining moment for Africana? When did you know that you had stumbled upon something? Or when did you know that um, you had sort of, not I don't, I don't say arrived, but you knew that you had a product that was undeniable? I told, I don't know if I told you, I told somebody in your team, I said, if I was doing carpentry, I'll be here today. I made a spot out of having to have a better version of everything that I saw. Mm. That's what I mean. Say, 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 say that again. A sport of having to have a better version. Not my version. A better version of everything I saw. Lord is my witness. So what 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 that what I did is an expression of how my mind had been working over the years. Mm. That whatever I experience, I opt it to a beta version or a 2.0 mm. and that's how I became a creative I didn't and I've never created anything from see, from from like God from Earth yeah. I just improve on everything I've seen that to the point that I can improve on something that you've seen mm. that I, when I show it to you you will not know that that's what you saw Flex yeah bro <laughs> so this episode is called Flexilence. That's what it's gonna start with. Flexilence challenge. Yeah. And that is it. You just flexed for me. Yeah, that's why I love Flexilence is a term I coined to describe a situation where excellence is the flex. As in you're excellent at something and you flex it because you earned it, because you got it like that. It is celebration. A glorification of the time and intention one puts into being great at whatever work is in front of them and what they become as a result. This next guest is an embodiment of the Flexilence idea. He is a major player in Abuja's fashion space with designs on world domination. Charles Oronsanye, aka King Africana, founder of Africana came on the podcast and flexed his creative genius, his gifts, his ability, his vision, his childlike curiosity. He let his light shine and it was beautiful to behold. His thought process is unprecedented in these streets. He showed his knowledge, understanding and wisdom in life and business. He showed why his success is inevitable. He shared his secrets freely so that we might follow, so that we might copy and paste. That's a God. And my favorite part, he dropped bars upon bars, quotable upon quotable, throughout our conversation. So many come again moments. You are in for a treat. This episode is sweet, but I must warn you though, this kind of gist is not for the spiritually insufficient, the spiritually insecure, those who can't stand the bright lights of others. My name is Rodney Amokache, and you are welcome to The Young God. A podcast for gods. Yep. Stand back. Got to talk. Watch calls. My name is Charles Oronsae, King Africana. I am the head, I call myself the head tailor. <laughs> or the head 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 houseboy in charge of Africana. It's good to have you here. It's fantastic. We had Zuma Coffee. Um, they are sponsors of this podcast, sponsors of this episode. Um, they're on what you're on in terms yeah. of trying to change the coffee culture in Nigeria. Amazing. Right? So what you're doing in fashion, then doing that in coffee. Good. By the way, I like the idea of having to <clears throat> create a coffee conversation platform and actually messing our brains and our palates with coffee. Like, it's really genius. So when it said Zuma Coffee, I thought I was going to a coffee shop. Mm. But I didn't understand what the coffee shop was doing in Abia House. 
So I said, okay, I got to the reception and I said, I'm going to the coffee shop. Yeah. I said, okay, sir, please fill your name. If every customer fills their name for a coffee shop and it was very long, <laughs> you write your name, where you are coming in, where you are coming from. I'm like, oh my God, what kind of coffee shop? What kind of business model? Like, do I come and sit them and down and say, look, I know you are trying to save money, leave here. <laughs> and I got in, I didn't get it until I sat down. I'm like, oh my God, okay, I see. It's a production unit. But coffee is the byproduct. Yeah. And you can only be a billionaire in today's world when you push products. Are you trying to be a billionaire? Beyond that. What's beyond billions? There are many dreams, that things that I wanted to do as a kid that made me venture into this craft. So everybody have that light bulb moment when they were younger that they that they had that they wanted to do to change the world in a craft or change a craft yeah. in the world. Yeah. But halfway we get always get into survival mode and we t- begin to balance life out mm. with finances. Mm. And that takes us a lifetime and we look up, we're already 50, we're already in the evening of our lives. Mm. So what I'm doing now as a 36 year old is I have a platform that can generate money so every dream that I have thought about I want to do a fashion show in Egypt between the pyramid of Giza somebody has done that I think Ross did that had a concert there that level of artistry and that level of expression Mm sets you apart from the chaos in the world. Like, mm. you don't, you not transcend from being a role model to a transcript. Okay, that's new. Transcripts. So, let me use Blueprint okay. so that so, so that I, I can speak to a five-year-old. You know when there is a role model and there is a textbook? Yeah, okay. So, there is Jesus and there is the Bible. We always look at the Bible for a manual. Right. Do you understand me? Right, right. But Christ right. is the role model, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you always want to refer to the manual. I see. So when I said I want to be above a billion, is I want to become the manual to an entire generation. You can't quantify how much you come from that. Putting it at a billion is capping yourself too low. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Now I know where this comes from. I know where we're going today. <laughs> so we're going to start from the beginning. Um, this podcast is called The Young God for a few reasons. I identify as a God. A I'm God sure, is yeah. anyone who has mastered their life as they live it, mastered okay. their environment, knew your strengths, your weaknesses, you're creative as hell, you use what you do to affect um, the world around you positively. You know, you want to... Is it the Bible? Yeah, God. Co- yeah, contribute in one way or another. And so this podcast is my way of reaching people who have that same kind of mindset, yeah. reaching people who are looking for a way to live life, understand themselves and their world. And, you know, because there's so much, there's so much out there and a lot of people are lacking their identity, lacking in their mental health, you know. So this platform is my way of sort of bridging that gap and creating a means to ex- express certain things, talk to people who are in that line of thinking in their own way. And so having, you know, done my research about you, see what you've done. First of all, one thing I, I really love about Africana is your visuals. I love the attention to detail you put into that. It's maybe, I don't know if, how what you think about that, but it's like almost 60, 70% of what makes Africana special. Yeah. The way you present your designs. Because one thing to design something. Yeah, then to present it right. To present it right. Yeah, cool. You know, and that's, that's half the job. So I love what you've been able to do with that. It's very expensive too. I can, bro, <laughs> I see it. I'm like, who is he paying <laughs> to do these things? You know? Yeah. But, but you do it and... It annoys me though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sell you that story of this is my daily you know, it's, mm. it's I'm, I'm in a journey. Sorry, I'm, I'm just having to intercept so that you, so you understand how how um, vulnerable I can be to this conversation. Mm. I'm, I'm in a journey where I'm constantly questioning myself, do I know what I'm doing? Mm. As I told you, I said, I have... I have childhood goals yeah. that are fueling my adult living. Right. Right. So these childhood goals are 
following my adult decisions. You know when they say, um, children, when a child is young, he's laughing, he's giggling, like they are communicating to the cosmic. They, obviously they have a life there that yeah. you don't know about, that yeah. we are not privy to. Yeah. So when a child, when you as a child have an idea mm. that gets you on your feet, like, like excites you, it means that it will excite a generation. What happens is we don't follow it through. Mm. Life happens. You now begin to fit into the narrative of I need to get married, I need mm. to have children, I need to pay the school fees, I need to go to school. But that idea, that's why the best musicians or the best of musicians were when they were younger. Mm. They had more songs when they were younger. Yeah. They wrote more music when they were younger. Took more risks. They took more risks when they were younger. Yeah. That propelled them to when they are older. How do you intend to stay forever young in your own craft? Hmm. Now there are two perspectives to forever young. Are you talking about the healthy forever young or the forever young constantly be relevant? Forever young in the in your childhood ideas to create okay, that's been relevant. So yes. Yeah. So I found out something. Um, creating is a hack. Okay. It's a life hack because in the beginning of the world, Genesis 1 says the Spirit of God moved on opposite us of the deep. And he said there was light. So this has it. Creating is a journey between, it's a journey of time and willingness. There was a willingness for God to say there was light. Mm. Now, mm. and light came. But what that verse did not tell you extensively is, it, it did tell you that a day to God is a thousand years to man. So it took a thousand years for the light to come mm. to fruition. Mm. You get it? This yeah. is my this yeah. is my opinion. I feel you. Keep going. This is my opinion. So yeah. it takes it takes that level of patience yeah. to so even God allows things marinate. Mm. That's to tell you that creating is not baking. Even baking, you wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you bake bread, you wait. So, sure. so there is always a wait factor. Mm. And because it, it doesn't it didn't it didn't work now, doesn't mean it's not gonna work later. So what I what I what I've understood is in creating, I will keep creating until I hit black gold is oil. I keep I'll keep digging and I'll keep doing something. So along the line, when you finally when I finally hit the gold, everything that I've done would carry me through life effortlessly. So I don't I'm making sense to you, sir. So I will keep creating, I will keep creating yeah. until one becomes a staple. The world celebrates this one. Then the world that celebrates this one will now dig back to everything I've created and begin to value it. Right. And that now carries me through life effortless without right. doing a thing till I die. Right. You, bro, you get it. <laughs> you know, this is what they call long-term thinking. When you yeah. understand that what you're doing now, just because it's not getting all the hype now doesn't mean that keep it there it's waiting for it it will it 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 blast don't it's worry sure. one of it's something that in front that has to that has to get everybody thinking to say okay i think we need to know what is made of and they will begin to unearth your your genius yeah and they begin to see that okay this is actually how he was thinking at that time that means for anybody to excel at this level you must follow the algorithm that he has placed I see pictures like if if the picture mm. is not perfect i will not execute mm. not perfect per se if the picture is not interesting perfect is not i i refrain from using that word perfect nothing is perfect if the picture is not mind stimulating enough yeah i won't i won't yeah. dabble so whenever whenever i gesticulate that way mm. it means I can touch my thoughts I touch my thoughts I physically I see my thoughts then I'm at the I'm at the level where I can physically hold my thoughts in my in my mind and in my hands I love how you put this this thing now because it takes me back to an episode of my podcast where I talked about creativity yeah 
and I talked about the truly creative among us, yeah. what they have. And to be so to be creative is to be made in the image of God. When they say it, it's like, what does that mean? And there are three things that connect us to God, three threads. Individuality, creativity, and empathy. Yeah. So the most creative people, the people that are really like, are really in their element are those who have connected all three threads. They create, they have found their individuality in their creation, and they have empathy in terms of they understand how what they do and who they are affects the bigger picture. Hmm. How do, how do you see yourself through that prism? That prism or the triangle? Individuality. Oh, individuality. Creativity mm. and empathy. So no. So see the individuality part? Yeah. In that prison, I'll clean it. Oh yeah? Yes, I'll clean it. Why? So not to say not to sound a bit religious, but I want you to open your mind. Mm. So um there is a manual. Mm. There is an image. There is a likeness. So personally, individuality would fuel me to become uncontrollable, untamable, unteachable. When you become unteachable, even in your highest genus, you are nothing. To humanity, mm. the goal is to the goal is to be teachable, even at the highest peak. So I kill individuality, like I don't exist. Whatever it is, I'm just a channel. I'm just a case mm. that is carrying this. I'm a vessel. Like I'm, I, I want this vessel. I don't want to sound very religious. Like, those were like vessels. You sound very churchy. Use so, it. I love yeah. It. yeah. So I'm a case. Yeah. So have you ever wondered why the head of the arm is very bitter? <laughs> have you wondered why? No, never wondered. Okay, why. so the head of the arm is bitter. Scientifically, I don't, I don't know the meaning, but what I've observed as a human mm. is that every time my mom used to cook yam those days. When they put the head of the yam, whenever the yam sees light, that head mm. on its own grows. If you keep it in a, in a room, mm. so you've eat, you've consumed the yam, right? Mm -hmm. It means that, this is my meaning, mm. that if actually whatever I've consumed is contained in this small space, that we don't need because it's bitter. Mm. It means that I need to take it back to that place that I dug it from. Individuality will not make you think like that. So the reason for the bitterness mm. is that it is not for your consumption. Mm. It's that you got it from the soil, right? right. Take it back. Yeah. And if you don't take it back, it will begin to blossom on its own. It does not need you. That's why the Bible told us, it said, if man don't praise me, I will raise stones because stones have even have life. Yeah. So why would I want to be individual about an ideology that I, that, I, that I got for free? Okay. I love where you're going with this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you a step further, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's a triangle, yeah. right? And individuality on its own is what you would describe if you, if you were just if you didn't have all the threads connected. So again, that's that's the caveat here. Mm. All threads must be connected for it to be a whole person. A whole person, yeah. So the empathy is what buttresses your individuality. Yeah, yeah. it's so, yeah. So being an individual, uh, being an indivi right there. individual, individual, being an individual, yeah, is you knowing who you are, like knowing your whatever it is that makes you that fuels you, and then that, that empathy is knowing to go and plant that yam. Yeah, again, it's like. I'm that here. empathy, yes, that yeah. empathy, yeah. I'm here, but it's not just me that is here. That empathy didn't come from you. That's what, yeah, so it's all, it's all good, right? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Even the individuality didn't come from you, me. It's from God. Oh, yeah. Even the creativity didn't come from me. It came from God. Yeah. So I find that the most creative people are those who, in their own way, marry all three. Yeah, together. you're very right. So what, what, what I found out, what I, why I had to cancel that individuality, because so, uh, mm. I've been trained that whatever I don't need, I don't consume. Come again. Whatever I don't need, I don't consume. Okay. 
please, please expand. So, try this experiment. Take yourself off all the blogs on Instagram for a week. Don't look at anything negative. Embark on a project. Mm. Mm, I see where you're going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. It, make, it makes sense. You see, you will be amazed. Yeah. Like, I do that experiment. I just say, you know what? Today's not for the blogs. Today's not for the negative stories. I don't mm. want to know what's happening in the world. I let it in pandemic. I was tired mm. of watching. You know, watch CNN and the numbers of America. You know, America was giving us life feed of people that was in the hospital. So yeah. I left Italy when they were closing. Mm. Coming home, close my business. So then I had a girlfriend. With them. I was like, I don't need to see all these things. Can we just leave? Like, how can? The world is going to shit. We need to do this. We need to rock. We need to mask. We need to do this. I need to. <laughs> said, no. Like, I'll post the world. And I watch her post the world. Like she Your girlfriend post, paused the world. She paused the world. That is disconnected at DSTV. Yeah. Disconnected internet. You don't need it. Yeah. Chop. Enjoy. Exercise. Walk. Look at the beds. And, and then I found a, and I found a better version of her. Yeah, that's when I understood that okay, it works. Like, so when I say I, what I don't need to my destination, I don't I don't consume. Mm-hmm. I may know about it mm-hmm. because of a lot of the open secrets and knowledge is open, but I will not consume. I try not to consume. You know when you consume is understanding. I don't want to understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why the reflex of the word individuality, I kill it. Going deep into the conversation, and now it's okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what you mean, that's a triangle. Mm-hmm. So don't feel bad that I have to kill it because, no, no, yeah, yeah. because it's an exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I found out that the more I exercise on these things, they be, I, be, I master them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's some things that I would always give at every time, no matter how uncomfortable it is. When I mean give, I don't mean give, can I give friendship? I'm always giving information to anybody I meet. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I have a lot of people that meet me in 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 my field. Yeah. And say, hey Charles, I have this I have this problem, I have that problem. On the spot, I I'm willing to share. Not because I want I want I want to make them feel like I am more knowledgeable than them. No, it's it it's a decision I made to say, this knowledge you've gotten, freely have you received? Freely will you give. Mm. So it's a constant exercise. And I remember I get to every day, who have you impacted today? Mm. That's why I said, I want to become the man so that I can change generations. So I understand the three priests, the three triangles, the triangles, three card, the three cardinal points, one, two, three. Yes. Yeah. I love coffee. I've always wanted to become a proper coffee connoisseur. It is for this reason I'm partnering with Zuma Coffee, an Abuja-based brand that takes coffee very seriously. Their beans are locally sourced, roasted in-house, and for sale. Their barista is world-class with intimate knowledge and experience about all things coffee, always experimenting, concocting, and telling the stories behind the beans. Their menu contains unique recipes for different levels of coffee lovers. And if you wish to take your coffee game to the next level, they sell all kinds of tools and gadgets you can use to brew your next best cup. To see for yourself, visit their cozy little cafe or their Instagram page at zumacoffee underscore. Tell them the young god sent you for a discount. Hey, I think we should cheers to this. Of course. Thank you. It's pretty pleasant to be here today. Cheers. Thank brother. you so much. Bro. Let me, let me get my swagu. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very goofy. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my god, that's vanilla. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much, please. Mm. So that we kill you faster. Coffee will give you life. Because I drank it and I felt alive. Mm. I felt like I could run downstairs. I felt I was a bit too relaxed, the AC, but when I had it, like, so I'm like, okay. I love the way you think. Yeah. I understand 
how your thought process has gone to where you are. But now I want to ask you something. So at what point in your life did you like make this shift from, you know, being, shall I say basic? Because we all, we all started having all kinds of ideas about life that are mis, you know, mis, uh, misaligned, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you make that switch. Like you understand certain things. But when did you begin to understand all these things? When I aligned. When you learned. When I aligned. Can you remember the moment? My, my spiritual life. Can you remember the moment, that defining moment when you aligned? Or was it like a process? So there's no life process? moment. So anybody that tells you that there's a life moment in alignment to Christ is a lie. Mm. It's an exercise. But is there a moment you knew? Like when you just realized? When, when I knew was when I, when, I, when I found that I could speak about things I did not think about before now and they become valid to the opposite person. Oh. Like, whatever I told you just now, I never thought about it. I yeah. just thought about the spot. Yeah. Like, out of my belly, shall flow rivers of living water. I don't know how I say it. <laughs> Let the water flew. you. <laughs> Bro, it's been... <laughs> yeah, like, that's, so that's what I knew. So yeah. I'm not going to tell you that there was a day. I'm not yeah. going to say there was a day, there was a particular moment. No. Mm. Because God is not on your timeline. When God gives you a gift, He does mm. not consult your timeline. Yeah. He doesn't give you because He wants it. He gives you because he needs you to use it to do something. So he gives you at his time. And, he's, and he gives you, 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 they don't wake you up, you discover. Right, you discover. Yeah, you discover, that's how it is. Mm. I remember when I discovered. <clears throat> I remember that when I was, in this 2018, I just had a flair for, again, when you talk to people, people leave it feeling more uplifted, more aligned, more, more understanding of certain things. Like, yo, what if I recorded these conversations? You know, what if yeah. I just said and see what happens? And then that's how my podcasting journey started. So you just sort of stumble upon your gifts, your, and then you just start to use it. And then from that point, other doors open. Because I, I, I work in brand. I build brands for a living. Fantastic. I build brands. I help them develop a strategy, whatever. Um, so a lot of those branding conversations with the client would always go beyond branding. You know, going to their own life, what they're trying to because you know when you're building a brand, right? You need to understand their vision. You need to, and then so when you're trying to help them align, it goes beyond just what they thought it was. You're helping them to expand their outlook. And so I was like, yo, I'd be flair for this though. Like not just like the theory they teach you in school or in some course about how to build a brand, but like understanding the clients, understanding their needs, and then <clears throat> just helping them think bigger than they thought. Uh, you know what, you know, we got to do a podcast. So the first podcast was called The Creative Habit. And then I rebranded a, a year after when I realized I wanted to get more creative, more um, adventurous with the content that I explored. So beyond branding, beyond creativity, about all kinds of things. And now we're here. But now, this is not about me. It's about you. I want to ask you something. Yeah. When was the defining moment for Africana? When did you know that you had stumbled upon something? Or when did you know that um, you had sort of, not I don't, I don't say arrived, but you knew that you had a product that was undeniable? I told, I don't know if I told you, I told somebody in your team, I said, if I was doing carpentry, I'll be here today. It was an African conversation. Once I found myself, so how did this start? Mm. I made a spot out of having to have a better version of everything that I saw. Mm. That's what when I, when so, you, you talking, so, Say that again. A sport of having to have a better version, not my version, a better version of everything I saw. Lord is my witness. So... What 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 that what that did is an expression of how my mind had been working over the years. Mm. That whatever I experience, I opted to a beta version or a two point zero, mm. and that's how I became a creative. I think I've never created anything from Z from from like God from Earth. Yeah, I just improve on everything I've seen. That to the point that I can improve on something that you've seen. And when I show it to you, you will not know that that's what you saw. Flex. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> so this episode is called Flexolence. That's what it's going to start with. Flexolence. Charles. Yeah. And that is it. You just flexed 
for yeah, me. Yeah, that's I, 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 I love can it. Give you a better version of it that yeah. you will not even see a trace of it, because whenever I look at it, my head is at, my eyes are the X-rays to see the loopholes, and I modify. So whenever I sit down with my team, what it takes some designers one month to give you a collection, yeah. I do it in three hours. You know, I'll, I'll go as far as saying you're not just a creative, you're an artist. Yeah, like... Because as artists do, artists elevate. Everybody brings their submission to me and I look at it and I'm like, okay, this is in my DNA. I don't want that one. Okay. I will look at that, I'll kill it. So I don't make you feel bad. Yeah. I will not show you what I feel is better. Mm. So that it's in your So that don't dampen, <laughs> you don't dampen your spirits of the people around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you find yourself opportune to give better information yeah. and along the way to keep that balance I will take the rubbish most of the time yeah. 9 out of 10 that rubbish that we take yeah. eh, is always the one that slams more than the creative that I've dropped right really? yes what I don't like is what the customers enjoy do you know why? because I'm at a heightened level that they cannot catch up right 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 like even your, your bare minimum is so my so point. my their bare minimum they are not used to it it's like yeah, rocket science yeah. my minimum is their rocket science yeah. so what happens is when they begin to consume that one that I felt is mm -mm, mm, it's they now begin to enjoy it and begin once you, once you can once you can get them to enjoy your weakness yeah. or your weakest point you've opened them to the possibility of your heightened intelligence. They are now in your in your solar in your ecosystem, so your solar system. Bro, you're blowing my you're busting my brain. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not easy to bust my brain on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, praise God. Would you like some more? Would you like some yeah, more? Yeah, I want more. I finished it. I, I, I wanted it. I want some more. I hope you don't mind me praise about having some more. The art of life. Fuck. <laughs> that theme. I want to know where it came from and what you what what you want to capture with that. Do you want me to be honest? Please. It didn't come from me. Okay, that's that's fair. It came from the guest creative, if you don't. The guest creative director. Yes, yeah. I, I saw that you did. You had that. Yes, that's there. So let me tell you something. Yeah. Most creators that you've you've really, you've seen in the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years, mm. I've always anchored on individuality. Mm. Let it be my glory. Mm. Let it be my day. Yeah. Now me designer. Yeah, yeah. Now me be the old guy, the face of the brand. No. I'm not even a global corporation, but I'm coordinating like one. Even better. Yeah. Because I know that where my mind, now where my, let me use local palace. It's, it's now where my mind end, yeah. that person will start. Mm. So what I did was, I brought my genius to the table. And I brought someone else's genius to the table. So we are unfuckable. Like we are untouchable. Why? You go far alone, you go farther together. Yeah. So art of life, the DNA of the art of life, it is it is a collaboration of excellence. It's not a me affair. It took a whole village. If I had known you, Six months ago, I will come here. I will call you at midnight in my time. And I will say, bro, how you see these things? Because I need to not make a meal with my taste buds. Come again? I need to make and not make a meal with my taste buds. It will not be sweet. You're dropping bars, man. Huh? You're dropping bars. Yeah. Quoting rules. I love it. Like, that's... <laughs> that's it's, for the still to dawn. Yeah. Everybody can test out. Yeah. But, yeah, so too many cooks probably brought to... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm. go there. But it's better. See, all of us feel enjoy one thing. Mm. So what I do is whenever, whenever I'm tasting, they're doing the tasting, I'm always picking one... I'm always looking for one information that is constant. And I will hang on to that information so that I will have pleased you I would have pleased you. I would have pleased her. Mm. So if I'm able to please you, you and her, I've pleased the whole generation. Go to bed. You make money. And there are two kinds of ideas. It's like music mm. and products. It's like music. The one that you like at the get-go. Love at first sight kind of product. I mm. run for such products. Really? Why? Yeah, it's good. It's good for the touch. 
I want my product to grow on you. Mm. So I build storylines inside. If you see our suitcase, it's the aerial view of the Pyramid of Giza. Yeah, I'll show you the video. He's going to send it to you. Yeah. So that was the inspiration. So the deal is that when I presented it to you, I'm not going to tell you that it's, it's not written anywhere that it's Pyramid of Giza, but as you begin to find out the brand communication, you will see the photo shoot, mm. you will see how it is in place. Like, okay, we'll not tell you. This is the Giza, this is the Pyramid of Giza. If you look at it carefully. Oh, right. Yeah. So that's an illusionist feel. Yeah. You don't get to this level of genius alone. Yeah. Even the LVs that we the big brands, the LVs, the LVMH, the caring group yeah. that we that we that we reference so much in the fashion space do not serve us their genius alone from one person. Yeah. It takes a whole community. But they will put one Alexandro Michel in the front of Gucci to say he is a critic. It's not true. Yeah. There was an army of interns. There was an army of 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 tastemakers. of tastemakers. There was an army of artisans mm. that sat down to say, this is our culture. This does not sit with our DNA. So it will not fly. Yeah. And everybody will not adjust. But the brand finds it very beautiful to push one person to take the glory. Why? Because it brings money. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, you get it. <laughs> and I'm getting it because... Yeah. <laughs> But what I'm doing, I'm taking the other route. We are Africans. Our food tastes better when we all eat it together. <laughs> Be out of life. I get it. Yes. Oh, and by the way, you can follow the podcast on social media. Twitter, at I am the Young God. Instagram, at the Young God Pod. I regularly post exclusive content and updates on events, all kinds of things. You don't want to miss that, so please follow. How do you apply this thinking to business, to the That's business it. you run? What is a business? What is a business? You're yes. asking me? Yes. So you, what's a business to you? Uh, a business offers services that solves problems. Good. Products and services that solve Good. problems. So, and it brings money. And brings money Good. at the end of the day, yeah. Services. Product, problem solving, and automatically money will appear. Yeah. That means if I put service in the room, good <laughs> service in the room, yeah. and I put it a product in front of it, yeah. and that product solves a problem or make money, why do I have to worry about the rest? That's, right. not, that's not my problem. The rest about business, that's not my problem. But, but we're in Nigeria, in the Nigerian context now. Because I know Nigeria brings I'm thinking beyond challenges. Nigeria. Yeah, I, in Nigeria, is me. It's, it's like, I'm, so let me give you this. Yeah. When they say I'm swimming against the tide, right? Mm-hmm. Nigeria makes me feel like I'm swimming against the tide. But I convert it to my brain to see I am I'm, I'm I'm moving against the wind. And when you move against the wind, if you put your hand in a moving car and you do like this, you go. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not I'm not, I didn't I'm not building for for Abuja or for Wusetu. <laughs> yeah. I'm building for a generation. Nigeria will catch up. So, now you... The, the that's how you do... To... That's how you build a business. Yeah. It's a longer route. Yeah. It's more painful. Yeah. It's more painstaking. That's why everybody is afraid of that route because yeah. it does not bring the money immediately. Yeah. yeah. It's not content creation that you will see numbers immediately. No. Yeah. But guess what? When you finally hit that gold... Every of your algorithms will now be unearthed to say, okay, ah, this guy is grounded. It's the way you discover an artist and you go to this this discography and you say, he has six albums. And then the albums now begin to make sense Sense, to you. Yeah, so this is where he's coming from. And then the streaming now becomes becomes more. That's it. And you now build a proper following, a proper audience, a proper... That's what I assume. You now build believers. It's better to have believers than to have a business. Should I say it again? Lucky for you, you have both. But say it again. It's better I have believers than just to have a business. I'll break it down for you. Yeah. A business is I make caftans. Mm. There are other brands making caftans now, even cheaper than me. Surely. My my same cuts, even cleaner. Uh, 
I would I doubt it. No, hold on. <laughs> well, you can say that, but they, if you go to their well, if you go, they, will, they will tell you. Yeah. What's the cannot give you? The, I cannot give you. That's not their marketing point of view, right. and the customers eat it. Yeah. Nobody's loyal. Yeah. But I have believers. That we see. I'm not buying Africana because I'm sowing it. I'm buying Africana because there's a journey that we are all in together. Mm. So when I look at Africana, I, I, I adjust my business. I'm with you. There are people that buy Loropiana for that reason. Yeah. Because of what Loropiana represents. Heritage, great time. Heightened luxury, quiet luxury. They've sold that story for over a hundred years. And people's fathers, your father must have had a little piano in his deck. Mm. You have seen it. They are still relevant in this time. It's not because they were in business. It's not because they they knew how to put the numbers together. It's not because they knew how to do social media or do advertising. Mm -mm. They stuck to their story and Mm. created believers out of it. So I want to have believers that will live and say, my children, I bought this brand because of, at the time, this is what they were giving. This was where I kid it. They changed my mindset. Once your brand begins to impact on its customers, you are gone for life. Yeah. You see, you have killed everybody. Yeah. That is good to sleep. You make money in your sleep. It's like a ritual. <laughs> Bro. It's like blood money. You listen to it, like, oh my Bro. God. No, the don't have it. This is no design. $1,000. 1,300. No design. I buy them because... <laughs> <laughs> I go buy them. I can't my money go buy them. Mm. Because I wanted to key into that echelon of senior daddies mm. when they cap them. Speaking of daddies, you're a daddy. Yes, I'm a dad. <laughs> I saw your children on your wallpaper. Yeah, my son. Not my wife. Oh, that's, your, that's your son yeah, and your wife. Yes. Okay, okay. So how, how do they factor into this? Because... I believe you're you're a well-rounded man. Yeah. And I believe that, you know, again, just as the triangle is connected, yeah. all the other aspects of your life are connected. So how does your family life influence, or how does one influence the other? Whew. This question, I, I want to ask how to give you an answer. Very tricky answer. Mm. But that's how we help people. We have got you now. No. I mean tricky. You may not you may not catch it, but you catch it later. You see the things like family, children, they are so sensitive. That the best thing I can tell you is I find myself lucky mm. that I was able to get married in a sinful world like we live in today and have a child as a gift in a world where genetics have changed, that childbearing is now more complex than getting a Canadian visa. So it's a gift that I'm still basking in. So to tell you now that I mapped it out, I'll be a liar. I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for my son. And if that is the only gift God gives me in my lifetime, Mm -hmm. I would hold it as God has done the best thing he has ever given me. I've lived with people that have been married for 10 years and they don't have an issue. Mm. And I know what they face. Mm. And I know how they think. And I know the kind of tears they wipe from their eyes. Mm. So where I am, it's not a flex, it's a gift. And wow. telling you yeah. about it, yeah. that it's, I, I'm managing it this way, I'm not managing anything. I'm basking in the gift every day. So it's like somebody's giving me a brand new Rolls Royce. You know, you open in the morning. Have you ever, have you, you remember, do you, remember, do you remember, ever remember the first day you traveled abroad? Mm-hmm. What the night was, the night before was like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Right. Ooh. And, it's, and it's enough for me. So I'm not going to sit down here and give you answers that I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I'll be a liar. So I'm enjoying that my moment of I wake up and I look at him and say, God, you found me worthy, even my sins. I said, no, I carry woman when I did, when I know this, when I was young. Mm-hmm. I know the kind of things I've done. Mm-hmm. How many girlfriends? I said, like, so you actually found me worthy to give me this kid? So I'll be custodian of them. Mm-hmm. 
and I'm basking in that, in that, in that, in that reality. Anything that I have to explain how I navigated it is a balanced life. So let me ask you this. <clears throat> how do I ask this? At this point, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, don't leave me now. Because <laughs> I was still moderating what you said before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it. As, as a man, right, would you say you have it all? And if you don't, do you think it's possible to have it all? Say this question. Please, run me back through how you lost your thought and got it again. Because I'm always in this place. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget I'm away. <laughs> so how do you do it? I want to know, like, I want to get what kind of okay. technique do you use to because I try to play back and I get lost. So see you do it, bro, bro. and get it. I'm like, holy shit, somebody gets it. It's like, like, well, I, it's like hitting a half cut shot. It's yeah. luck, bro. It's, I really, I really came down like that's what happened to you. Mm. Now I'm like, yeah. Oh, I, I just had this in front of me like 10 seconds ago yeah. and then I'm lost yeah. and I will not lie that I've gotten it thinking that it will spoil up the answer yeah. 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 <laughs> we're the same bro we're the same <laughs> whoa okay, okay. Yeah. back to your question oh, what's the question again <laughs> do you have it all and if not do you think you can have it all there's a prayer I pray every morning yeah should we haven't told you this before it's a 10 seconds prayer mm. That if, and I say, and I say to pigeon English, God, that if now this Africana you do for me, rich, mm. that is, if I die tomorrow, God, and this is all that you've planned for me, yeah. I'm grateful. My panel will see this light. Sure. This is, this explains, I think this should be able to explain how I feel like mm. I am on a gratitude. Spree. So when I see things happen mm. magically, I, like people are reposting a video, I would, I'm like, ah, I thought you were done, God. Oh. Bro, Thank you. you again. I feel you. I feel you. When the blessings come back to back. Like, so guess what? So I'm not my my entire life at 35 to now is a journey of. I thought this was over. Like I thought this was over. Mm. Okay. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm liking sort of like the behind the scenes that I'm getting of your thought process. And because a lot of times, man, we see a lot of people doing amazing things. We see amazing brands, whatever. They don't tell. <clears throat> you know, they don't tell. We don't know. And I think in many ways, it just shows what it takes to sort of stand out in this place where, again, excellence is very few and far between. A lot of people are doing like just across from top to bottom. There's just mediocrity that is taking center stage. You know why is it? Right. The excellent ones are too scared to come out. I was, I was talking to him some days ago. They say, ah, they say, ah, oh, you know, Charles, mm. you know, they keep this with the journal side. They say, yes, it's true. I will do that. You know, talk nicely, be nice. I said, yes, I will do that. It's good. Mm. But I found out that Christians are some of the most greatest minds we have in every industry today. Nobody tells, nobody shows. Everybody's consuming to keep. Mm. We want to consume to hoard so that you will not be better than me even if you have the manuscript. Right. Right, that is true. It's called fair play in business. It's called witchcraft in my planet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because imagine a world where your genus mm. and my genus collide. Out of life. That's what this is, is. And I believe, sir, let me ask you this question. I've never asked you before. How do you feel about the collection? You've not told me about your personality. <clears throat> I think it's brilliant. You know, like I've told Charles before, I don't know if I've told you. I've always gravitated towards what they create mm. out there at Africana. And uh, because let's be honest, my mother, let me let me start off. My mother has all these seamstresses and tailors and stuff. 
she's the one who used to handle my clothing. Mm. But then I started, I came to Abuja, I started working, and in their clothing, they said, put Africana. And the simplicity, how easy it was to get everything done. Mm. You start to realize that good craftsmanship and excellence in business and customer service can exist all in one place. And then you see that translating to other things. And it's more than important. There are these shirts I bought from African. This is outside, outside the Kaftans. Mm. There are these shirts I bought from African at the polos. I bought two the first day I went to Jujabi. And I wore it for like three days. Then I went back. <laughs> <laughs> I went back. Now, the art of life, from what I understand, means that you want to be able to wear and uphold the art, art the artistry that Charles has made. Mm. That's the every morning, year. The morning, the afternoon. When I'm going to IBB to play, to golf. eat Akara before golf. Mm -hmm. golf club, Maybe yeah. I'm going, I went to the office sometimes. Yeah. I have a small meeting. I was at National Assembly last week. I wore my Africana shirt to Polo to National Assembly. Yeah. And that is the art of life. I want to go out in the evening to four guys. Africana, maybe from four guys, I want to enter play Imperial. Africana, mm. that's the art of life. From wake to so sleep. See, yes. Yeah, that's, you see. And that did not come for me being a genius. Nobody is a genius. It takes an entire community. Charles, I need Africana. I don't have a <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a Africana. Do you get one? I'll send one to you. I want to wear it to your shoe. I want to, to call Don't worry, today I send it to you. Alright. Unlock, send me your shirt size, I'll send one to you. Gotcha. The genos that we see today, the Sam Altman, the the Bill Gates, there's a community mm. that they don't show you. And did you read that book, that Elon Musk book? Mm -hmm. When I read that book, I cried. Elon Musk, there were some people in Elon Musk's life that almost, you could see that almost, this guy did not do this alone. He put mm. it off on his own. Yeah. They were engineers. Mm. They are not taking the center stage because it's not good, it doesn't look good for business. Yeah. There needs to be somebody that the whole nation will hold accountable for. That's the that is the old order algorithm. Out of life is going to change out. Like, you know, it's a lie, you our own different too. Everybody will blow, even to Dave, the guy that did the video, he contributed. Mm. I paid oh, for the I, I paid for the service. Oh. I'm just a conveyor yeah. of great minds. So I'm going to try this, this new order. Let me see if this will better another generation of great thinkers. So imagine if God willing, this blows all out of proportion and people that begin to understudy this method in school 10 years from now to say to build a world-class um, product is always best to assemble. Mm. And because case study, Africana Art of Life, 2023. In my grief, I'll be turning. <laughs> Tony, are you? Oh. <laughs> my name is Charles Oronsae, King Africana. I am the head, I call myself the head tailor, <laughs> or the head, head, head houseboy in charge of Africana yeah. group. Africana Koto, Africana Experience, Africana Experience Abidjan, Africana Experience Senegal. Our website is www.shopafricana.co, mm -hmm. www.shopafricana.co. We've built a fantastic brand and I'm happy to be on this, the Young God Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. It means the world that you would spend this time with me. The conversation continues on the Young God Community WhatsApp group, which you can find or join via the link in the description. We also bring these conversations to Twitter spaces. So if you'd like to participate, do follow the podcast on Twitter at I am the Young God. We're on Instagram too at the Young God Pod. See you next time. And have a great week.